Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Splash Bar Express. It is your girl, Ash Cash, and you already know. You already know I am back with another video today, you guys. So I'm back to share another recipe with you all. And today's video, the star of the show, is going to be Jack Daniels. I think this is my first time or either second time putting a Jack Daniels recipe on this channel. So we are going to, let's go ahead and actually try the Jack Daniels. This is the Jack Daniels regular. Um, They have so, they have other different kinds of Jack Daniels, but this recipe causes for the regular Jack Daniels. So, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. And then if you don't know, Jack Daniels is a whiskey. So if you like whiskey, this is actually a good whiskey, guys. Like, really, it's a good whiskey. All right, so, got my little shot glass here. If you, drink, if you drink Jack Daniels, let me know if you like Jack Daniels. All right. It has a cinnamon smell to it. Pretty strong. Oh, Jack Daniels is a strong whiskey. All right, y'all, so. What um, I haven't came up with the name for this drink yet, but it's gonna be something cute because in this drink we have a mix of oranges, pineapple. No, no, no. We have a mix of is it? We have a mix of orange, peach, and mango in this drink. So, you guys, let me tell y'all what I did. So I this is a parade that I made, and I just paraded in the blender, um, and I strained it as well. So all of the excess particles can not be inside of it but what it says is oranges um it's cut up orange it's cut up peach take the peel off the peach and it's cut up mango you take the um, peel off the mango as well and then i poured the mango nectar over it and i blended it all together to get this parade all right so we're also going to be using some mango malibu malibu mango <laughs> Set that backwards. all right and we're gonna use a squeeze of some lemon, squeeze of some lime, uh uh. All right, and then I have my orange, that's the garnish. If you wanna garnish with a peach, you can. If you wanna garnish with mango, whatever. All right, so we also got some whiskey sour. If you got sweet and sour, just use sweet and sour. All right, and then we got some orange, peach, mango juice. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started with this recipe, you guys. Y'all already know what I need y'all to do. I need you guys to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't because we be dropping recipes, like good recipes. Hmm. Um, Let's go ahead and start with our mango rum. <clears throat> gonna start with our mango rum. And I do have my glass already in the freezer on chill mode. And it has ice in it. It has peaches in it. It has mango in it. It got oranges in it. It's just so, so bomb. All right, so that was three ounces of the rum. And we're gonna do an ounce of the nectar. We're gonna go ahead and come behind it with our lemon and our lime too. And I'm gonna do a half of a lemon and a half of a lime. This sticker did not wanna come off, there it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go behind it with the lime first. Squeeze that lime juice in there. Fresh lemon, fresh lime. That was a big lemon. All right, so we got our lemon and our lime squeezed. All right, so I'm gonna come behind that with some sweet and sour, with some whiskey sour. 
And it's just a resemblance of sweet and sour. I get messy, y'all, so pretend you don't see that. All right, so that's one and a half ounce. We're gonna come behind it with the puree. And I'm gonna pour all my puree in there because I did just a little bit. All right, y'all, so next we are going to go ahead and put our Jack Daniels in. And that is to your liking. about two to three glass servings especially if you have ice in it all right guys and then last but not least we are going to come behind it with our juice wow how we got all the juice in this <laughs> like what okay let's try that again All right, y'all, so y'all already know what time it is. It's time to give this drink that Splash Bar Express Shake. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, so we got that shaking up really well. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glass. So I have my glass, and as you can see, like I told y'all earlier, I got some oranges in it. Um, some peaches is right on top and the mango is right on top and I have my glass sitting in the freezer So that's why the ice isn't moving <laughs> All right, so Let's go ahead and pour our mix on the top of that mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice glass of orange juice is what it looked like And that is about two to three servings. And then we're gonna put us the orange garnish on the side. Yes, sir. All right, so that's our orange garnish on the side. And then next, we are going to taste this bad girl. I'm not gonna call this a bad boy. I'm gonna call this a bad girl. Look at that. Ooh, that looks so delicious. Now let's taste it and make sure it actually tastes delicious. Ooh, that is delicious and citrusy. I will say, this is actually pretty good. It's really, it's a refreshing summer drink to me. And I'm also getting fall vibes. So, with this drink, I would actually have to say, this has, I can taste the Jack. I love my drink when I can taste the alcohol and not just the juice. So, I can taste that cinnamon from the alcohol. I can taste all my fruits. The puree. It's definitely mandatory. It's definitely delicious and it's very fruity. It's the bomb, okay? That's all I gotta say. Y'all know I love to rate my drink. So, honestly, I would probably give this drink about a good, a good eight and a half. And I might be biased because I like my drink strong. <laughs> so, if I give it a 10, right? And this is what I'm going to do to give it a 10. Okay, so I'm going to pour some more. Right? Because we want our drink to be a 10. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pour some Jack Daniels on top. Right? Right? Y'all with me? Okay. Now watch this get my drink a 10. What I told you. What I told you. Ah. Uh, what I told you. What I told you. Yes. It's a 10. It's a 10 now. Okay. So you want your drink to be a 10. 
fill your mix up halfway. If you want to be an eight and a half because you want it to just be refreshingly cute or whatever like that, girly girl style, don't even do that. Just do it the regular way, okay? Alright y'all, so anyways, that is the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this Jack Daniels delicious fruity drink. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop in the comments. Talk to me on the community tab, y'all. We have our community tab now for my Splash Babies. We have our community tab now, so you guys can actually chat with me on the community tab. You guys can let me know what drinks you want to make i know lady s requested a rum punch for me so the rum punch should be my next video actually should be next in my lineup that we're gonna do a little rum punch mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. a little rum punch and this is gonna be my first time making a traditional rum punch um yeah so we gonna see how that come out anyways you guys until next video this is your girl ash cash and we are out 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 out